One of the most important things we need to do every time we are diving is to equalize our air spaces, especially the ears. As divers, we have several air spaces to equalize. The lungs, which we equalize by breathing constantly. Remember, the most important rule of diving is to never hold your breath. The mask is an airspace, so it needs to be equalized too as we descend by exhaling through our nose. If we don't do this, we risk experiencing a mask squeeze, which isn't fatal, but it wouldn't look very nice. The sinuses, located at the front and top of our head, if we have a cold or congestion, we shouldn't dive because they may be blocked, preventing the air we need to equalize our ears from passing through. Also, taking medication and diving isn't a good idea because the medication's effects may wear off underwater, causing additional problems that we'll talk about soon. And lastly, we have the ears where the middle ear needs to be equalized. The ears are essential for our balance. If we have ear problems, we might experience vertigo. These are basically our air spaces. We'll mostly focus on the ears from now on in the video. Just remember to equalize often during your descents. There are different ways to equalize our ears. The Vasalva method. In this method, you pinch your nose and gently blow through it and you should feel a relief as you descend from the surface. Doing this inflates the eustachian tube and forces air through it, which is why you feel a pop. The tube is a soft opening that gets compressed by pressure as you descend, so you need to open it to equalize. It is the most common equalization method, and it's quite simple to understand and perform. Now, if that doesn't work, we have the Voluntary Tubal Opening, or VTO. This method is probably my favorite. Here, you yawn without opening your mouth and move your lower jaw forward and back. This allows air to pass through the opening from your throat and equalizes the air space. To practice, you can yawn while moving your jaw and see if you notice relief. Frenzel Maneuver. This works by making a k K sound with your mouth closed. This tenses the back of the tongue and pushes air through the eustachian tube. You can combine this with the Vasalva if you are having trouble equalizing, as it helps direct the air better for equalization. The Toynbee Maneuver. This method involves swallowing. Similar to the VTO, the jaw movement shifts the air in a way needed for equalization. Sometimes, simply swallowing helps many divers equalize. If no method is working, what do we do? First, try moving up one or two feet to a point where you're not uncomfortable, then try again. If it still doesn't work, it's a good time to stop the dive. Forcing your descent could have worse consequences for your health. Don't be surprised if this results in nosebleeds. If it happens often, you should see a doctor. You'll always have the option to dive another time. Remember, if you have any doubts about your health for a successful dive, it's better to not dive at all. <laughs>